Hi guys, it's Ty and welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited today because I'm doing my very first Q&A and I decided to do my first Q&A because I have finally reached a thousand subscribers. Yay! I'm so excited that so many of you have decided to subscribe to my channel. I'm excited if you guys have been here from the beginning. I'm excited if you guys have just subscribed. I just basically appreciate the support so thank you i have been on youtube this is going into my fourth year and it has been a journey so i started at the end of 2020 and just trying to figure out youtube itself the analytics editing filming all of that and then just trying to make friends within this community like i said it has been a journey but it has been a good one and i'm so happy to continue my journey here on booktube so i had posted on my community tab uh that i would like you guys to ask me questions they could be related to anything not just books so i have a couple of questions that i'm going to answer from there and then i also posted on my instagram story that i was doing a q a and for people to ask me some questions and then i got some questions from over there so we will go ahead and just jump right into the questions so the first question that i have is what is my favorite book that i've read so far this year um i haven't read too many books this year obviously since it's just january i think maybe like eight um but i am in the middle of quite a few books uh out of the few books that i have read this year i haven't had any five stars yet this year and i do have a couple of four stars and out of those books i would have to say it would be an arc that i just finished i haven't even reviewed it yet on my channel that'll be coming soon but it is the resort by sarah oaks i believe is how you pronounce that last name but this one follows um two characters two women that are on this island in thailand they become friends and then a murder takes place on the island and both of these women are trying to figure out who the killer is and then how basically these two two characters are connected i really enjoyed it it was actually a surprising read for me because i didn't think i was going to enjoy it as much as i did but i'm happy that i did and so far that is my favorite book that i've read this year the next question that i have is what book would i read again and again and again i have quite a few favorite books but one book that i have read twice already that I enjoyed both times and I plan to do a reread yet again. That is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I don't know what it is about that book. I'm not sure why. I'm just like so drawn to it, but I love the characters, Victor and Eli. It deals with like extraordinaries and how when people have near death experiences and they're brought back to life, then they have these superpowers. I also really like that. I like how the characters are both morally gray. And so they're both not good people, but you find yourself rooting for them. I just love Vicious. Not really that big of a fan of the, the second book that was in that series, but Vicious, I just feel like will always hold a special place in my heart. Another question that I have is my best slow burn romance and i don't read a ton of romance i will fit them in whenever i can or i typically read a lot of the popular romances because i i honestly don't know which romances i really like or would go for but the best slow burn i guess i would say is before i let go by kennedy ryan and I like that one because it's technically like a second chance romance, but throughout the whole book, these two characters are trying their hardest to hold back their feelings for each other because they had just gotten a divorce, or I think they might've been divorced for a little while, but they're trying to like hold back their feelings for each other. And I just really liked that because there was just so much tension throughout that whole book. And I absolutely love both of those characters. So I have to say that one is probably my favorite. Next question is what made me start my YouTube channel? And I would have to say, I just really have always been a reader. I have watched uh, BookTube before I started my channel. So I was watching it for a few years. And then finally, I was like, you know what? I want to join this community. I want to talk to people who enjoy the same things I do. And so I just went ahead and started my channel. The first couple of videos are not good, <laughs> which is typical when you first start a channel, but I just loved everything else that has come with making my YouTube channel. And that's just uh, talking to my subscribers in the comments that is interacting with other booktubers, 
um, just being in the book community. And I feel like it's different when you're actually a creator within the, the book community um, and you actually have more of a insight of what it takes to like run a channel and then you can relate to other people that are also in the community. So I am really, really, really happy that I have uh, joined booktube and I'm really especially happy with all the people that I have been able to meet and talk to and interact with. It has just really been a fun time and I hope it continues to be fun. The next question is what is my subscriber goal? I honestly don't really have like a set goal like if I make it here then I'm good. I don't have that type of goal. Now I did have the goal of reaching at least a thousand subscribers because I honestly like when I first started my channel I don't know I had the false sense of like just post a couple of like book hauls or something and then all the people will flock to your channel and that is not the case. It took obviously years for me to reach a thousand subscribers. That's not the situation obviously for a lot of people but a lot of us it does take a while for you to grow your audience. So my first goal, I guess, was to make it to a thousand subscribers. And my only goal now is just to keep gaining subscribers if at all possible. I obviously I make these videos for people to view. So I would like people to continue to subscribe and support the channel. But honestly, I've hit the goal that I wanted to hit, which was making it to a thousand. So we'll see how my channel continues to grow. So then we have, do I want to start a book club? Um, I've thought about it. I do have a couple of ideas of what I would want my book club to look like if I was to start it. But I guess my only hesitation on actually starting a book club is that there are so many. Um, I know there are a few book clubs that I like to participate in. And I just want, if I were to start a book club, I just want whatever I do to be different and unique so that people will want to join the book club. And then I'm just also not sure if people want <laughs> more uh, book clubs because like I said, there are so many. I would like to do one, but I just don't want to do one if I'm not going to have participation, I guess. So that's really my big hesitation. If you guys are interested in another book club, let me know. But yeah, I'm just still kind of trying to fill it out and get some more ideas about what I would want, but I have thought about it. So then I have another one that was kind of similar to my last question. Um, what inspired you to start your channel and then what author I would like to meet. So I've already talked about what inspired me to start my channel, which was I just wanted to be a part of the community. And then an author that I would really like to meet, this should be no shock to anyone if you've been around this channel, is I would love to meet S.A. Cosby. He is one of my favorite authors. He is a crime mystery thriller fiction writer i have read all of his like more well-known books i have a couple of videos that i've done of uh, reviewing his books and i have a video where i'm talking about all of his books and he is just someone <laughs> that i follow him on instagram i've seen quite a few of his interviews and he just seems like a really nice man and i would like <laughs> to meet him i would like him to sign all of my books i I would just die if that was to happen. I have tried to look for author events in my area, especially when he came out with his last book, All the Sinners Bleed, but he's never in my area. So hopefully one day I will get the chance to meet S.A. Cosby because like I said, I would die if I got the chance. So then the next question was if I can make a trend popular in a genre or in book community, what would it be? I think what I would like to see as a trend with a lot of the books being uh, published today is if our characters were older. We obviously have that distinction between like young adult and adult, but I still feel like when we are in the adult genre, the characters are still pretty young. They're like in their 20s. I was reading a lot of holiday romances back in December and I came across one that was like a short story collection. I had two stories in there and one of the stories in that collection was about an older couple. They were like just shy of 50 and I did not realize how much I related <laughs> to them and just them being older and more mature and like the conversations they were, they were having really were relatable to me. And that just got me to thinking that I just want our characters to be older. I know in a lot of our fantasy books, like you'll have the situations where like, 
the character is starting off old but they're just reflecting back over their life from when they were younger. But I would love to read more books, no matter the genre, with characters that are older. Not just like in their, they're like 29 or they're 30, like older, more mature, more seasoned characters. I know there are some books out there like that. I just wish that we had more. And I think it would just be more interesting to read from characters that are older. So then the last question that I have is, they want me to close my eyes, pick a book off of my shelf, and then give you guys the story around it. So um, I'm just gonna close my eyes and I'm just gonna pick something. Uh, I don't know. Nope, that's not a book. Oh, no. I don't know what this is. Oh, <laughs> this is A Heart Song by TJ Klune. So this is part of the Green Creek series. Not really much of a story or nothing interesting. So I read Wolf Song a while ago and I really, really enjoyed it. And I love the covers of these. I don't even think they're selling these covers anymore. I think they did like a, a reprint with new covers. And as soon as I read Wolf Song, I was freaking in love. And then I bought the rest of the series. It's four books. So I bought the rest of the three books in the series. And I have really enjoyed the series. It's a adult um, fantasy. And I do have a series review over this if you guys are interested. But yeah, I just really love these. And I went ahead and I bought them. And I'm so happy that I did because I am a fan of these covers. Not so much of the new covers that are out. So I'm actually really excited that I bought these. So that is actually all of the questions that I received. Again, I'm just really excited that I made it um, to a thousand subscribers. I appreciate everybody's support. I appreciate you guys liking and commenting on videos. And I hope we can go ahead and continue this on. But that is all that I have for you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.